Oops. Um, hello and welcome to another episode of Reading Manga with me. Hello, hello. Here. Wow. Hello, hi Willow Womps. We'll get started in just one sec. Hello, hello. Go grease lightning, you're burning through the quarter mile. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. Go. The heat that drives grease lightning go grease lightning. Okay, so, hi, welcome to another episode of reading, um, of reading manga with me. Me, that's me, I'm made, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, uh, this is one of my favorite authors, um, her name is Morishima Akiko, so Morishima sensei, I guess, Morishima Akiko, um, Morishima Akiko. Oh. There. Um, yeah, I've realized she's actually kind of lewd. <laughs> she very much likes, um, canoodling, as they say. But, yeah, um, she's got a lot of interesting works. This one, Holy Girl's Paradigm, is really good. Um, oh, you can't see it. Whoops, hang on. It's ongoing? Oh. I thought she finished Holy Girl's Paradigm. That one's cute. It's very cute. Um. Anyway. Uh. So this one, Yurikuma Arashi, that's on the screen, is one of my not favorites. There's actually, it's really funny. There's an anime by the same name, but it has absolutely, like, it's literally just the same name. It has, it's, the plot is completely different. Like, the anime is about space uh, cute girls from space who are actually bears and turn people into bears or some shit like that. Morishima Akiko Sensei's version of Yurikuma Arashi is nothing alike. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally like, it's literally like some sort of weird drama about finding, um, about these kids finding their parents and shit. And it was like a slow burn. 
It also wasn't my favorite because it was a slow burn and it was kind of, it was very long actually. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The payoff wasn't very good anyway. But at least one thing about um, <laughs> Morishima Akiko Sensei is that you can expect happy endings from her because I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure every single thing that I've read by Morishima Akiko Sensei is um has a happy ending. So yeah. Anyway, um, we'll start off with the showcase. This is uh, Office Romance Women's Division. Um, I'll probably just read like the first two chapters or something. I think. I don't remember. Anyway, here we go. Yep, so this is Office Romance Women's Division. Chapter 1, Princess Hunter. Oh, that's from the... Oh, yes. And then this is the cover. Look at these cute girls. Her art style is very, very cute. Oh, my God. Yeah, also, Agiko Sensei draws herself like this. My dream was to become an OL. I still admire them now. Oh, when I was young, my dream was to become an OL. Office lady, which means office lady, um, a word for women with like corporate jobs in Japan. Yeah, um, OLs falling in love, working women falling in love with each other. I want to read about ordinary relationships between everyday women. I want to read it even more than I want to draw it, so I drew some for myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Actually, um, hang on. Let me go close my door. It's really hot in here, though, which is why I had the door open, and not because of the Yuri manga. <laughs> anyway, um, I love girls. I love Yuri. Lol. And then here's some wedding dresses. Oh my god, they look so pretty! Look at these dorks. Oh, oh, there's actually words. I want to be pretty for you. Hey, Deba! Hello, Ba! How are you? I'm reading Yuri Manga. Love battles break out in an office of maidens. Both friendship and love. Girl x girl love is a struggle for survival? I don't know, you, you're you the one telling me, Akiko sense Morishima sensei. When you're unsure, go with your instincts. Yeah, it's, um, Aki Morishima Akiko. The queen of the grown-up Yuri manga world takes an office love in her new series, The Queen. I love, I, okay, I love Morishima sensei, but she's so <laughs> ridiculous. But one of the good things, there's always, there's usually drama, but one of the good things about Morishima sensei is that she usually um she always has a happy ending like I don't think I've read a single Morishima sensei work that didn't have a happy ending which is nice I guess like she draws what she wants to see in in the world I guess also hi Ba thank you for the love all right here we go Rose Absolute Inc. Wedding Planners. I'm Himeno Alice. I'm 24 years old. People say I'm always falling in love. I haven't found a boyfriend in three months. Three months? <laughs> I haven't had one in three years. When I'm single, I get so lonely and bored. <sighs> I want a boyfriend. Everyone, come meet the newest member of our team who comes to us from the Yotsuya branch. I'm Shirak. Hasaki. I look forward to working with you. But, um, doki doki. <laughs> She's already smitten. Uh, a prince. He's gorgeous and cool. Shiraha-san, your desk and PC are... Ooh, leave it to me. <laughs> I'm Himeno Alice. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Wow, he's so pretty up close. Oh, my. Oh, what is it? Oh, you're a girl. Darn it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Gee, what? Oh, pardon me. You look a bit like someone I know. I do? 
What about us as a link? Hmm. Both of you are cute and cheerful. Maybe that's it. Cute. Blush. Cuff. She moves fast. No, no, she's a woman. <laughs> if anyone's planning a group date or something, invite me, okay? A group date? Invite me too, huh? Remind me, Chief Jono. How old are you now? You met at Juliana's Tokyo, after all. When people ask, I say I'm 24. You tell people you're 24? What are you doing here, anyway? I just wanted to see your face. Oh, and, ha and I have some cost estimates for you on the new dresses. That's Kaneko-san. She's a dress designer. She's friends with the boss. Wow, she's so tall. They're so cute. Thanks. I don't have a boyfriend, but being surrounded by cute dresses is plenty fun for me. Even though you don't get to wear any? Maybe playing a game will make you feel better. Try PH. Everyone's into it right now. PH? It's short for Princess Hunter. <laughs> it's like Monster Hunter. Oh my god. Prin Hun instead of Mon Hun? <laughs> Mon Hun. Okay, um, you're a prince and you hunt princesses. Why would I want to hunt women? I want to hunt guys. Chuckle. So you want to hunt guys yourself instead of waiting for them to hunt you? You must be a formidable woman. Formidable? I'll have to learn from your example. Chuckle. So you're saying you're the type that likes to be hunted, Shira Hassan? Huh? Oh, I suppose? Do you have a boyfriend or maybe you're one of those people who's happily single? No, no boyfriend. But I do get lonely when I'm single. Well, looks like we're in the same boat. We'd better stick together. Oh, okay. We'll keep each other's spirits up until we land someone or someone lands us. Oh, oh, okay. I should take a drink of water. Water, water, water. <laughs> oh my god, it's so gay. Look at these dorks. They're so gay. <laughs> They're just staring at each other. Not a care in the world. Thank you for that. I feel a little better already. Me too. Back to work, you two. I don't care whether you're lonely. Just get to work. <laughs> Oof. Boss is harsh. Life was more fun, even though I didn't meet any guys after- Oh, after that, life was more fun. Even though I didn't meet any guys. Shiraha-san is a bit odd. You have pretty fingers. Your nails always look cute, too. Th thanks. She's gay. Oh my god. Sometimes she seems really dependable. I got the system working again. Whoa! But other times, she acts like she wants to be taken care of. I'm a little tired, Lean. Oh my god, she's so- Look at her flirting! She's so gay! <laughs> she's so gay. We're very different people, but we click. I have fun with her. Want some? It's my favorite. Munch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> well, that's true of all my friends, but... It's not just that I'm having fun. Oh, I've got it. I'm happy, is that it? Somehow, just having Shiraha-san around makes me happy. I've never had a friend like her before. A friend? <laughs> right. Just gals being pals. Who is the one who kept saying... Oh, was it Lop? Yeah, it was Lop. Where's Lop? Who was the one last time who kept saying, No, they're not actually... Okay, they're just gals being pals. Oh, working overtime? Yes, I figured I might as well finish it today. Didn't you say you had plans for tonight? Oh, not anymore. Something came up at work. You know how it is. There, there are plans for an evening wedding affair. Where would we hold it? Oh, I see. Is she a bit down about it? Well, what can you do, right? Buzz, buzz. Hmm? Huh? An ex from high school. Oh, how have you been? Hey, Alice, I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. Who did you hear that from? I just got dumped too, so I got a lot of time on my hands. Oh? We got somewhere. What do you say? Want to go get a drink? Sorry, but I'm busy. Beep. 
Well, I could go see him, but I'll help you. Huh? You don't have to. Don't worry about that. We can go pick up dinner from a convenience store when we're done. Oh, what have we here? You two get along so well. I'd almost think you were a couple. Hehehe. <laughs> They're... <laughs> oh my god, Chief Skadar. A couple? Gasp. Reminds me of my all-girls school days. Your all-girls school days? Oh, I think I get it. Went to an all-girls school too. Maybe this is kind of like that. You haven't... Oh, you haven't been living on your own for long? No, I moved out shortly before I transferred here. I thought your parents lived in Tokyo. They do, but I wanted to be more independent. It can be tough sometimes, but I'm also free to do as I please. Oh, like having guys over? Cough. Oh my god. Uh, no, not exactly. Um, you told me you weren't seeing anyone, you liar. Well, it is true that I'm seeing someone, but... Hmm, must be nice to be young. I'm only a year younger than you. Good for you. It's normal to want to get it on with the guy you like. Get, get it. Huh? Hi, Shep. Ada, Ada. Thanks for the redeem. Mm. Ada, Ada. There's no Aras in this chapter, but... Huh? We got together in school, but now that we're both working, we're rarely free at the same time. Why am I so shocked about this? Yeah, that happens. I wish we could spend more time together. Oh, you're going to see each other tonight, weren't you? Yes. And we are still going to spend the night together. Our plans just got put off a bit. Stab. Spending time with Shira Hassan. That's great. Spending time with Shira Hassan usually makes me happy, but right now, I just feel lonely. So lonely. Mommy's alright. How are you doing, Shep? I kind of just jumped right into the working. Oh, thank you for the follow, Tigraj. Hello. We're reading Yuri Manga over here. I kind of just jumped right in. This is, um, hi, hi. Yeah, um, so this is one of my favorite authors. It's, her name is Morishima Akiko. Um, Morishima Sensei is great. She's, <laughs> she does tend to, uh, a lot of her works tend to be more lighthearted. She's very silly, um, but there's always drama. But one of the things that you can usually expect is a happy ending. So you hung up on me before, then called me later and said you wanted to meet up. Struck out with your latest crush, did you? Cough. No, it's not like that. It's what you always do. Listen to me. But I am surprised you gave up so easily on this one. You're usually all, love is a battle. If I fall for a guy, I'll make him mine, right? But bing, pew pew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've never used those lame lines or that lame pose. Oh, hang in there, Shep. You can do it. So you thought seeing me would make you feel less lonely, e huh? Even though I'm just an ex? I could ask you the same. Oh, that reminds me. It turns out she didn't dump me after all. She wants me to come over. <laughs> the phone just says, okay. Well, you see how it is. Bye. Good luck to you, too. Uh-huh. That's great. Oh, poor, poor Alice. Sigh. Play. What should I do now? Just go home? None of my friends would want to go out this late. Oh. She lives right nearby? Though she's closer to a different train station checking a map. Hmm. I take this street, then turn. Looking up a picture. Oh, is this it? Is she, she's literally stalking her crush. This must be it. I found it. Hmm. Wait, what am I doing? Am I a stalker? <laughs> I should get out of here. I'm going home. I have to go before she sees me. Why are you leaving? Gulp. Was that shira You said you'd spend the night. Whoosh. Eric, it sounds like she's having a fight with her boyfriend. Slam. Why did I even bother moving to your neighborhood if we still never get to see each other? Saki, I'm sorry, but I have to go home. I have work to do. Is that her boyfriend? But his voice is so high. What the flip? Kiss. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> Kimi-chan. Uh, Saki, no, stop. What if someone sees us? Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Watching the... <laughs> what if someone sees us? Yes, someone's actually seeing them right now. See you soon, and good luck with the work. Thanks, I'll email you. Thoughts are a jumble of confusion, trying to process it all. 
Shia Hassan's boyfriend is a woman, but if she's a woman, she can't be your boyfriend. Shia Hassan is a woman too. They're both women, but they just kissed each other, so they must be more than friends. That would mean. Wait, 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 wait. I want to try that again. Sparrow, 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 swirl, swirl, swirl. Shia Hassan's boyfriend is a woman, but if she's a woman, she can't be her boyfriend. Shia Hassan is a woman too. They're both women, but they just kissed each other, so they must be more than friends. That would mean. <gasps> Gasp! They're gay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's so cute. It's it's like something out of a TV drama series. Um, what, well, for now, I should just pretend I didn't see anything. But, Shirahasa? Himeno-san, huh? She, so she was crying. Um, I was on my way home from a bar nearby and just sort of stopped by. People are gay, Stephen. Lamau. <laughs> They're lesbians, Harold. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. It must have been a shock, huh? Oh, jeez. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I should have gone straight home, but I... Oh, I can smell her shampoo. I just... You were worried about me. Thank you. Oh, before I came, she and her girlfriend, they were up here and they were... Oh, clench. Oh, no. <sighs> this feeling. Is our relationship dying? What do I do? Oh, oh, I see now. Love is a battle. I, I like you. Couldn't you give things a try with me? Huh? I only just realized now. What do I do? I think I'm in love with you. I, um, I'm sorry, but I have a girlfriend. I know. It's all on my part. That's okay, right? Himeno-san, right? You have pretty hair, Shirahasan. Uh, um, like I said, I have a girlfriend. Yes, I know. She, then please stop! Huh? Why do you look so surprised? What? Mutter, but... Well, they usually- Usually? You mean this is what you did with all your boyfriends? <laughs> what? Well, um, you see, uh-oh, so this tactic doesn't work on women, especially the really straight-laced ones. <laughs> she must hate me now. Pfft, you really are a formidable woman, huh? Um, what's so funny? What the heck? I'm flattered that a cute girl like you likes me so much then. Thank you, but I'm sorry. I love my girlfriend. That was quick, Himeno-san. Oh, I eat fast. I'm not talking about lunch. You stayed over at Shiraha-san's place, didn't you? Huh? How did you know? He he he. You came together, you came to work together, and you had on the same clothes you did yesterday. I see you failed to capture her heart, though. Ha! How did you? What are you? It was obvious. See? She looks sad. <sighs> Sigh. I was the one who kissed you, so you weren't cheating. I should have stopped you sooner. I have a girlfriend. I'm glad you have a girlfriend. She's a woman. And she only has eyes for her girlfriend. How am I going to snag this one? It's going to be a challenge, but... Huh? It means I might have a chance with you, even though we're both girls. I'm so glad. At least this helped me realize how I feel about her, you know? Love is a battle. Watch out, because here I come. ba -bing. <laughs> bing bing <laughs> Finger guns. Wow, you're really something else. Oh, that's right. They don't continue. She Yes, it's very cute. Um there's actually more to that story, but chapter 2 is about a completely different couple. It wasn't love at first sight. Can I help you? Um I'm looking for some basic skincare products. Smile, certainly. I did notice how pretty she was, but it wasn't until that moment that I fell in love with her. Excuse my hands. She touches her face. Oh, dreamy. <laughs> the moment her hands touched me, my whole body hummed with love. You haven't been taking proper care of your skin. <gasps> I, I'm sorry. It's very beautiful, though. Your skin is perfectly moisturized, not too dry or too oily, huh? If you take proper care of it, it will be even prettier. Just touching it was enough to tell you all that? Wow, do me too. Yes, Himeno-sama. That's the first time someone's ever used the word beautiful to describe me. Your skin is fair and fine. Oh, but the area around your eyes is a bit dry. Well, it's also my first time at a makeup counter, so... <laughs> Don't worry, we can fix that right away. But I'm more concerned about this feeling. When she touched me, my whole body hummed with it. Oh my god, look, she's so cute! Hey, Shep, I heard you like glasses, girl, so here's a glasses, girl. Wasn't that makeup counter lady nice? 
Before I knew it, I had bought a ton of products. Yes, her name was Benny Harrison, right? I don't know, was it? We'll have to go back sometime. I love makeup counters. Eric, I don't care for them as much, I don't think. But they're full of pretty stylish things. Don't you think that's fun? That's the problem. They might make fun of someone like me. I've always bought my makeup by mail order. I just came along today because a senior co-worker invited me, but I think I might want to go back there. Please stay behind the white line. Fumi Chan, don't tell me you're in love! But, um, you are, aren't you? That's wonderful. What? Wonderful? But I'm not. It's nowhere near that stage yet. It's so it's a one-sided. When did you meet and where? Is it someone from work? No! <laughs> Look at these dorks. Oh, that's right. There are hardly any guys at work, huh? Oh, you're right. Hmm. Oddly enough, I found it easy to accept the fact that I had fallen in love with a woman. Maybe it was because of her hands. Her beautiful, feminine hands. God damn if that isn't gay. <laughs> they fit my face perfectly. They felt so natural on my skin. As though they were my own. No, they felt better than my own hands. She's just daydreaming. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why not? You want to keep it one-sided? But I, I don't have a chance. This train is not in service. No, nobody ever returns my feelings anyway, so it is not taking on any passengers. But you had a boyfriend once, right? The doors are closing. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and he was the one who asked me out. When I fall in love, just watching that person is about all I can handle. It's fine. I'm used to it. I'll just watch her. Oh, wait. Maybe I can have her touch me again. Okay. Okay. I mean, that sounded way... <laughs> I didn't realize that sounded so lewd. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm glad you came back. You're here for foundation tonight? Y yes, this might... This series might be good for your skin type, Nasumi-sama. Okay, let's test out some colors then. Okay. Oh no, I can't let her find out how I feel. I have to play it cool. Should I do your other makeup while I'm at it? Yes. Assume you like, yes, by any chance, are you in love? Yes, huh? Oh, wait, oh no, I had a feeling you might be. I could tell from your skin. They say a woman's body releases more female hormones when she's in love. Maybe it's related to that. Are you sure it's not ESP? <laughs> you must be happy right now. Your skin is glowing with vitality. N not really, actually. It's one-sided, you see. Oh, but perhaps that will change in the future. Not a chance. My feelings would just be creepy and an annoyance. Oh, so this person would find your feelings creepy and annoying, Miss Sumisama? That's the sort of person you fell for? Wait, what explains it? What? What explains everything? Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Shep. Wait, Sheppy, are you saying you're in love? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. I've only just met her, but she probably wouldn't... No, definitely not. I thought as much. I'm sure things will go well for you, t the two of you. Y'all are cute, dorks. No, it's just not possible. Shake, shake. <sighs> she just sighed, but... But, well, it's true that you're not pretty, Nesumi-sama. Yeah, didn't try to soften the blow at all, did she? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> look at... Look at her... Look at her being smug. <laughs> She's teasing her girlfriend. That came out all wrong. What I meant is that you've convinced yourself that you could never be pretty. Shall I use my hands to work some magic and get rid of that misconception for you? M magic Yes, magic to make you pretty. That's not possible. Benihara-san's hands feel so good. I love her. Um, oh, okay, yeah. I for I mean, <laughs> I realized that kind of look. What happened to Fumi-chan? Your face looks so different from this morning. What did you do? You look adorable like that. You look so cute, huh? Uh, um, I went to pick up some more foundation since I was all out, and the woman at the store did my makeup for me. The one we met before? Wow, she's really good. Yes, it really is like magic. Is that bad? What's wrong? Because, but magic isn't enough, Nisumi-sama, huh? Remember Cinderella? The magic that made her pretty only lasted one night. The next morning disheveled. I really did wear off after one night. Even makeup doesn't help. I still look plain. No, she's cute anyway. Oh my god. I have pimples. Have I not been using enough cleanser? And I had too much to drink last night, so my face is all swollen. I look even more hideous than usual. Oh, save her. 
Oh, I see. Well, with makeup, it's not the tools you use that matter most. It's your technique and whether you have an eye for what looks good. Gee. Look, she's so serious. She's so cute. And what your regular skincare routine is like. You need more than good makeup to look stylish, too. Like, your hair and clothes matter, too, right? Magic only lasts one night. Erk. Which means I have to take care of this on my own. Oh, sorry. If you go to a salon affiliated with our company, you can get an employee discount. It's a bridal company. You can get your hair and nails done and beauty treatments. Wow, hold on. I don't know where to start. I'm all confused. I can't process all this info. Do I really need a steamer like this? No, you're only 21. But since you're still young, it might be better than putting beauty products on your skin. I'll start with supplements then. Shouldn't you just eat a balanced diet? Collagen vitamins, pomegranate extract, isoflavones, amino acids, hy hyaluronic acid, polyphenols, DNA, royal jelly, enzymes. Rose quartz is the best power stone, right? You really think that works? <laughs> Increase your feminine power. <laughs> and your luck and love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Though I do have one. Me too. Actually, I do too. <laughs> Look at these dorks. So even though I had no idea what I was doing, I at least gave it my best shot. Oh no. Benihana-san. <laughs> wow, that doesn't suit you at all. You look weird. Yeah, you didn't hesitate, huh? She's harsh. Well, your natural look was what made you charming, wasn't it? But she's a good person too. Ch charming? Blush. Though I suppose natural is just another word for plain, hee <laughs> hee. She's a good person, but she has a bit of a mean streak. That also means that with the proper polish, you could be beautiful. Despite that bit of a mean streak, she... I'll show you what to do again. Why are you doing all of this for me? You're going above and beyond what you'd be expected to do for a customer. You're right. Perhaps I want to help you with your love life on a personal level. You're not used to dealing with beauty products or romance, so it's fun to watch you fumble around. In other words, you're getting a kick out of this? <laughs> yes, you're just so cute. Could Benihara-san feel the same way about me? No, no, there's no way. I want you to feel pretty so you can tell that person how you feel. Uh, okay, I don't have a chance. I shouldn't get my hopes up, but really? I'll hold you to that then. I'm going to try a little harder, just a little bit at a time. Even if I'm just fumbling around, I'm going to find my own style. Don't just go with the sensible choice. Pick whatever you like best. Oh, okay. Let's hit the lin lin or the lingerie store. The I always pronounce it lingerie. <laughs> Let's hit the lingerie store next. You're, huh? We're moving awfully quickly. No, we're not. Hey, have you noticed? Yeah. Fumi-chan's gotten pretty. It's kind of fun to strive for something for the one you love. It's like your hands feel better every time I come here. This feels good to me to- Okay, 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 Morishima sensei. <laughs> oh my goodness. She knew what she was writing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something that you would say in a much looter context, but no, it's just... She's just touching her face. Yes, I love touching women's skin. All right. Okay, Morishima sensei. <laughs> you knew what you were doing. Your skin in particular feels even better than my own. Oh, um, to tell you the truth, I felt it too. Maybe she really, I didn't think it was possible, but I have since my first visit here. Oh, so you felt it too. And that's why I always look forward to your vis visits, Nesumi-sama. Could it be? Could she feel the same way? And I'm glad to see that you're looking prettier every time I see you. Could she return my feelings? Here's our catalog of wedding dresses. Would you like to hold the ceremony in a chapel? You're glowing, Fumi-chan. I am. Is your love life going well? Huh? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. So you have a good chance? Lucky you. The someone loves me vibes are just pouring off of you. <laughs> no, you've got the wrong idea. Was I really smiling that much? Oh, hey, Fumi-chan, look who's here, huh? Benihara-sama. I mean, Benihara-sama. Hello, Nasumi-sama and Himeno-sama. I get to be the customer today. Exclamation mark. Congratulations. Looks like you've found yourself a great guy. Thank you. To tell the truth, it's a shotgun wedding, so we don't have much time. Ah ha ha ha. Gotcha, huh? My real fiancé has terrible morning sickness, so she couldn't come. I'm here in her place. Oh, I see. Must be true she's not wearing a, a ring. I'd have been fine on my own. No! There's no way we could trust you with this. 
I've heard good things about your company. Thank you. And I knew you worked here, so I knew it would be a chance to see you, Doki Doki. Oh my god. But seriously, there's something I have to tell you. It may come as a shock. Huh? Y yes She wouldn't come out here to ask me out, would she? Due to various circumstances, I'm quitting my job. I came to say goodbye. Oh no. <laughs> You're here to say goodbye? What? I'm not pleased about it either. We've only known each other for a short time, but I'm proud of how pretty you've become. No, so please, keep your promise. Is this the end? I brought you an application. Okay, that's all. It's already time to say goodbye. Hey, is Fumi-chan out today? I heard she has a cold, but she was in top form yesterday. Don't tell me. Maybe it isn't a cold after all, huh? Maybe she finally got together with that guy and they're going at it like, oh, like rabbits right now. Oh my god. No. Sob, 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 sniffle, hick. I'm an idiot, 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 idiot. I knew right from the beginning that I didn't have a chance with her. <laughs> but I heard what I wanted to hear. I let myself believe that she might love me back. I was just a customer to her, nothing more. Huh? My skin, it feels really good. I cried my eyes out all night over Benny Harasan. How? This feels good to me too. How can it? I'm proud of how pretty you've become, so please, keep your promise. Have I gotten a bit prettier? I forgot about that. Whoosh, I promised her I'd do it, and that's not all. It was one-sided, but I enjoyed it anyway. Falling in love with her made me happy. I have to at least tell her that. She already left, but maybe someone else at the store can tell me something about how to find her. Oh, Nasumi-sama, welcome, huh? What is she doing here? You look like you're in a hurry. Do you have an urgent request? I promised, Pant Wheeze. I ran all the way here. Oh, God. Benny Harasan, I... Huh? I love you. Understood, miss. Huh? I'm sorry. I lied about quitting my job. Hee <laughs> hee. But you finally said it. Oh, so that's why Nasumi-san has been looking prettier lately. Yep, she used to be a bit shy, but now she sparkles. That's great. Love makes a woman stronger and more beautiful. I'll have to follow her example, Clench. <laughs> so you want to be even more formidable? Can you sense what I'm thinking right now? The gist of it, yes. But please wait a bit longer. Okay. Aw, she confessed. Oh, they're gay. They're so gay. Oh, this is honey and mustard too. Um... We'll skip that chapter since it's literally just an introduction to another couple. Um, yeah, this is a continuation of uh, Saki and um, and Alice. I always fall in love with girls. Is the seat taken? Oh, Kimi-chan and I fell in love the moment our eyes first met. This is the one, I said to myself. I thought it might even be fate. Hello, Kimi-chan. Yeah, I'm at the hotel in Sapporo. It's the first snow of the year here. I'll send you a picture late. Huh? Oh, okay, sorry. I won't keep you then. I'll bring you a souvenir when I get back. I know you must be busy right now, but you could probably do with a change of pace. I told you I can't afford to take a break. I have to keep working. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I'm sorry. I have to go. Boop. I love how you're so passionate about your work, Kimi-chan. Sending you a picture of the first snowfall here in Sapporo. I don't know how much, or I don't know much about your work, but if there's anything at all that I can do to help, just say the word. Shiraha-san, Karashina-san and I are switching rooms. I was surprised when she burst in. Himena-san, oh right. Um, they're on a work trip with their senpais from the previous chapter, but yeah. I brought what was left of this wine. Let's drink it together. Okay. Must have gone well, thank goodness. I knew it was cold, but snow, I heard it's the first of the year. After 15 years, their love has finally borne fruit. Huh, yeah, there's some bias from the previous uh, thing. I'm a little jealous. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry I took my bad mood out on you before. Thanks for the photo, Kimiko. Look at her girlfriend. She's so cute. She's also glasses girl, Shep, looking at you. A message? Oh, yes, from my girlfriend. What's she like? What's she like? Um, smile, smile, smile. A little bit like you, maybe? She's cute and cheerful. We met in college at a lecture. It was love at first sight. I thought to myself that I was born to meet her. I really did believe that. 
Has it been five years already? The time flew by. Shah Hassan, yes. If there's anything you want to talk about, I'll listen. Huh? What brought this on? I just had a feeling you looked a little lonely before. Sorry, I can't help butting in. But Himono-san, you... You can talk about your girlfriend. I don't mind. I want to help you. I love you, Shiraha san Huh? Oh, flip. Thanks anyway, but I'm fine. <laughs> Look at her blushing. Jeez, I'm not gonna jump you, you know? I, I know that! What is this feeling? When I'm with Himena-san, I remember how it felt when I first met Kimi-chan. Is it just the similarities between them? My past relationships? I've never dated anyone before. Oh, so... Yeah, you're my first Saki. I never thought I'd end up dating a girl, though. Sigh. So you don't want to? Of course I do! Hee <laughs> Look at these dorks. I'm glad I'm with you, Saki. I love you. Me too! I love you, Kimi-chan. So... I wanted us to be together forever. Ooh. Where's my son? We finished with her this morning. We used a wig for you yesterday, so let's go with your real hair today, hmm? It looks so pretty. Still, stuck modeling, huh? I wonder if Himena son is managing all right on her own. We'll be shooting some posters today. The theme is destined love. Can you believe it? So first it was eternal and now it's destined? That's right. You don't like it? I'll do my best. Good, but make your expression softer, please. That's right. I think it's a wonderful thing. To love someone so much that it feels like destiny. Shall we take a short break? Is Shiraha san still at the shoot? Yeah. Kimena san, are you making progress checking over those documents? I'm almost done. Just a little left to go. Phew, I can finally fix my nails. We might actually finish on time and go back to Tokyo tonight. Good work. Otsukare-sama. I'll fix your nails for you too, Mitsuki. Thanks. It ruined your manicures and you work in sales. What a grueling business trip. Wow, you're a pro at doing manicures too. Would you like me to do yours too? Sweet! Yay! <laughs> Lol. Alice is kind of childish sometimes. Your nails are getting long. Would you like me to file them? Long? You think? Well, I don't mind long nails on a girl. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, really? Should I grow mine out then? Huh? No. Oh. Please make mine short. Sure. <laughs> because, um, some people don't like long nails because they can hurt. Um, anyway. No, wait a minute. Hmm. Leave them long, actually. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want to tip my hand yet. Oh, so you have your eye on someone. I can cut my nails any time, I mean. The first step is to get to them to open your heart to you. You have to be nice and smile all the time and listen to their troubles. You gotta start with the little things when you want to land, I mean, cherish someone. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> oh my god. Then you look for an opening, I mean an opportunity, and bang, capture their heart. How formidable. Yes, if you can make them think it's destiny, then you've won. I'll stage it all myself. So you haven't done it yet. <laughs> Good luck. The number you are trying to reach is out of range or her phone must be off. She must be concentrating on work right now. I don't mind if you want to vent at me, okay? You can depend on me. I love you. I wish you needed me more. Oh, But I didn't hear from Kimi-chan when I got back. No calls, no emails, nothing. Kimi-chan. Maybe she's swamped with work, but what if she's been in an accident or she's sick? She hasn't been updating her blog either. Click, click. Shahasan, Are you done inputting your data? Y yes. Come decorate the Christmas trees with us then. They're going to be all sparkly and pretty. Squee, squee. How many trees are there again? There's one in the lobby, another at reception, one by the elevator. They're all full of Christmas cheer, but I'm just not feeling it. Hmm? Fidget, fidget, fidget. You're practically vibrating with excitement. What's going on? Oh, just wait till you see what else has arrived. New tapestries for the lobby. Aren't they amazing? You look so pretty. My head is reeling. These photos have been incredibly popular. Oh, did you want a poster? Yes, please. The one of Shiraha-san. I want one of Mitsuki-san. Yay, we'll get to see these every day now. <laughs> look at these dykes. I'll have to look at these when I come into work every day. The timing is particularly ironic. Cute. What are you doing, Himena-san? It's nice how you girls are always so cheerful. Himeno, huh? I really am getting dizzy. 
Shahasan. It was better when we were back in college. We got to be together all the time. I got to see her every day. Class is over. <laughs> She's napping. We spent our days off together, too. Sunday, I need to do some research at the library. I'll help. I was by her side because I loved her. That was enough to make me happy. I can't sleep after that horror flick. Don't leave me all alone. I can't sleep after that horror flick. Don't leave me all alone. Okay, okay. <laughs> My feelings shouldn't be any different now, or maybe that's the problem, that our relationship has changed, but my feelings haven't. All I ever do anymore is relive old memories. There's so many great looking places to eat by your station, Jurasan. Okay, let's have steak for dinner. Well, that might be a bit much. I don't know if I have the appetite for that. You need to eat. You collapsed because you haven't been eating, right? I'll eat dinner with you and then see you home. It's not that big a deal. I just got a little dizzy. You've been pushing yourself too hard, trying to pretend like everything's all right. Arg, I'm mad at myself for not picking up on it sooner. Himeno-san, you should be able to manage this, right? Yes, a hot crepe. Mm -mm. Mommy loves hot crepes. Or should I say, do you want mommy's hot crepes? I need a drink of water. I've been talking nonstop. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Want a bite of mine, too? Um, I wasn't really pretending, you know. It's true that I've been down lately, but I have enjoyed talking with you at work. Thanks for the redeem, Shep. I, I'll take another drink. If you weren't there, I really might have collapsed. Oh, it's the only time I've truly been able to smile. Chomp. Oh, yum. Um, are you depressed because of your girlfriend? Yes, you could say that. You can tell me anything, whatever's on your mind. I love you, so I want you to be happy. Oh, but your girlfriend lives around here, doesn't she? I might upset her to see her us together like this. I used to think you reminded me of her, but now I see you're nothing like her at all. Huh? Why not? You're always thinking about my feelings, offering me a kind word, and you're kind of a fibber. Hee <laughs> hee. You, you knew? Ugh. So I was right. Haha. <laughs> you're perceptive. I should have expected that from a girl who likes girls. Yes, I lied. I said that I wanted you to be happy with her and that I didn't want to upset her, but that was a load of crap. <laughs> wow, your real, your real thoughts are scary. She's neglecting her loyal girlfriend, making you so depressed that you can't even eat. I hate her, and you're a real idiot for loving her instead of me, even though I totally still love you anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I love Alice's character. She's so ridiculous. I'm an idiot? I really let you have it. Are you mad? himeno -san, my girlfriend lives in that building over there. Is she out? Maybe she's spending the night in her office. Her office? She's a freelancer, but apparently she hired more staff recently and set up an office. Oh, wow. I read about it on her blog, but I don't know where it is. She might even have moved out of here. Her blog? Huh? Boop, boop. I haven't gotten any messages or phone calls from her in a month, and I think she started blocking me yesterday. I'm an idiot, aren't I? The truth is, I've known for a while now that she was pulling away from me. I just didn't want to accept it. I averted my gaze from what was happening and clung to my memories instead. We were so happy together. I thought she had to be my destiny. But this was all it took to end it. It's over. With no words exchanged, I never even got to see her to say goodbye. What were the five years we spent together? I found myself crying in Himeno-san's arms. You poor thing. You poor thing. She's crying too, but for some reason, she was crying even harder than I was. Crying for me, the idiot who got dumped by a girl Himeno-san hated. Girls are funny, huh? When I saw her tears, the pain in my chest began to ease a little bit at a time. That childish thought floated through my mind. Oh, that's right. The tears of a princess are magic, aren't they? Alice's family name, Himeno, contains the character for princess. Well, now, 
Mm, blink, huh? Oh, I'm at your place. We must have just drifted off. Your mascara ran, and you've got a serious case of bedhead. Gasp. Oh, no, I forgot to take my makeup off. I need to borrow some cleanser. Oh, huh? You're feeling better? Yes. Crying my eyes out. Last night made me feel so much lighter. Oh, I'm still remembering the past when I look at himena san I think. In fact, it's even stronger than before. Glad to hear it. Floof. Oh, I see now. It wasn't Kimi-chan I was remembering. It was the way she made me feel. I was planning to take advantage of your vulnerability. Shh. Oh, well. Whatever <laughs> true attention slip. I like you best when you're smiling. Bang, bang. Finger guns. Whoa. But, um. When I look at her, my heart skips a beat. Huh? Love you. Touching her makes me feel like I'm on cloud nine. I love you. This is what it feels like to be in love with a girl. Huh? Aww. They went back to work after the end of the previous chapter. Shiraha-san, smile like the poster. Why? Because it's super cute. Come on, give me a smile. I can't. I couldn't even smile at the shoot. It was horrible. Huh? I just don't know how to smile cutely, but Kaneko-san told me you have to picture it in your mind. Tell yourself, I'm the cutest girl in the universe. Wait, hang on. I want to try that line again. Tell yourself, I'm the cutest girl in the universe. I'm the cute in the u- Huh? I'm sorry. Shall we take a break? No, it's all right. If you can't picture yourself, is there a girl you like, Shirasan? Huh? Picture the girl you think is the cutest. A celebrity or anime character is fine, too. Oh, I see now. I need to picture a cute girl in my head. A girl I think is cute. Smile. So what did Kaneko-san say? Uh, well, um, you're bright, Red Shiraha-san. Oh, I get it. She said something dirty, huh? Then just remember that and give me a smile. Huh? Dirt? What? No, it wasn't like that. Well, probably not anyway. Oh my god. Look at these dorks. They're so cute. Oh yeah, this is the author's afterword. Hello everyone, I'm Morishima Akiko. I'm going to use this afterword to give you a behind-the-scenes look of this manga. Uh, let's see. First I thought about what I wanted to read. I want to read a Yuri story with a ton of OLs in it. That's good. Wait, don't you mean create? My editor, Payne Sun. Is that her? Is that actually her name? <laughs> Probably not. I want to read it, but since I exist, I want to create one. Maybe it's because there weren't many Yuri manga around when I was a teenager, but I can't get enough of them now. Roll, roll, roll. I wanted to read FF shoujo manga like this when I was growing up. I also drew on my own life experience. How about a love story with an older girl who works at a makeup counter? That's good. It's so girly. <laughs> The counter will create a sense of distance between them. This gorgeous girl will be touching her skin and it'll feel great. You have beautiful skin. Yes, it's based on a true story. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. And then she'll say that. When that happened to me the other day, I got carried away and... Morishima-san, don't tell me you. I got carried away and bought a ton of products. I took a boring experience and expanded it on it with my own delusions. <laughs> Look at these dorks. Um, then the characters took on a life of their own. I want to continue their story. Are they finally going to become a couple? No, it's the fact that they're not going out that makes it moe, right? That would never happen. Ha ha ha. You're right. The best part is that they have that connection even though they aren't a couple. Yes, exactly. Smooch. Hey, wait a minute. What was that kissing just now? I thought you were friends. <laughs> Morishima sensei <laughs> basically saying that her characters took on a life of their own lol that's so silly I'm sorry but it looks like they're getting together after all huh they just started making out <laughs> when characters have developed real personalities sometimes a story is born that even the author would never have imagined that's downright pornographic <laughs> sigh I also decided to try something new as an artist even a humble one I should be constantly challenging myself to portray new expressions I should push my limits and try to draw a character I've never done before. Okay, my next heroine is going to be an aggressive boy-crazy princess. Lol. 
I should do something different for a love interest too. Someone boyish but not masculine. Yes, an, an androgynous girl with transparent, with a transparent air. Someone delicate who's both girlish and boyish at the same time. That's going to be hard to draw. Yes, it is. Saki is a tall, slender C cup, and Allison is an extremely short, average weight C cup. There are surprisingly few C cup couples. <laughs> it will take skill to show the difference in their body types. Huh? Huh? Really is a difficult task. I've got it. Since there will be two boyish types in this story, I'll make them dress in girl drag together. Girls in girl drag, I mean. The contrast with their usual clothes will be moe, not to mention their shyness and embarrassment. I'll ensure their coolness by pulling it off with ease. Squeal, squeal. As a Yuri artist, every day is a quest for new moe. It's really tough, but I'm going to keep doing on, keep on doing my best. You look like you're having a blast. The moe? The story? Oh, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. Okay, I need to take a break because I've been reading for a while, but um, yeah, I'll take this time to take a bathroom break and stuff. Uh, and when we come back, I'll talk more about Morishima Akiko-sensei, I guess. BRB. Wow, I really need more water. I've been talking a lot. Gotta stretch though. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, it's interesting. There's in um, Morishima Sensei's works. There's usually always at least one pervert character, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess she's just she just likes lewd things and also girl on girl. Um, yeah. Oh, there'll be more gay. Um, I would definitely recommend Honey and Mustard. Um, Office Romance Women's Division, there's more to it, but there's a, I, I read like most of, um, a volume. It's very good. This one is very good. Honey and Mustard was the couple we skipped. I'd read it on stream, but I think it gets a little raunchy, so. 
Um, yeah, and then Romance Girls File has a continuation of the Alice and Saki, um, our main couple. So, yeah. Alright, uh, now let's switch gears to another author. This is Takemiya Jin Sensei. Um, Takemiya Jin. I can type it in chat. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's, she's got a very unique style. Um, her characters tend to have slightly more pointed faces as opposed to, like, Morishima Sensei, who all her characters have round faces. Um, she does draw lewd things sometimes, but it's definitely, I don't know, it feels like Feels like there's less lewd in her works that compared to Morishima Sensei, but you know. Um Oh she wrote a Love Live Ellie Nozo Dojin, huh? Interesting. Anyway. Um yeah, oh sorry. Morishima or ta Takemiya Jin Sensei's um stuff game is a pretty good one, but it's very lewd, so I'm not reading it on stream. Um it's quite good, though. Uh, yes. What I was gonna say is that, um, Takemiya Sensei tends to have more angst and drama, like actual angst, angsty angst, um, in her, in her works. Um, like, she doesn't always have a happy ending, unlike... Morishima Sensei, who I think almost always has a happy ending. Um, Takemiya Jin sort of varies it. Some of them are some of them are really sad, like one one that I'm gonna read now. But um, yeah, these are all really good. Takemiya, um, like Girlish Sweet is very good, but it's um also insanely angsty, and it's uh I would recommend it, but it's got some like fairly adult situations. Um. And I don't just mean the lewd stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, it's quite good. These are all very good. Um, we're gonna read the Love Stories Log. It's a collection of short stories. Um, yeah. A collection of Takemiya Jin's doujinshi published by Yuri Hime. Oh, that makes sense. This is probably my favorite work of Takemiya Sensei's stuff. It's really good. All right. So this one's called The Woman Next Door, Part A. Aw, look at these cuties. Which one is that? Oh well. Anyway. The Woman Next Door, Part A. Oh! Bow, bow. That woman is regular at this con convenience store. Let's get ice cream. Was it Yukimi that you liked? And also The Woman Next Door. I'm Yamaguchi. I just moved in next door. Oh, nice to meet you. She's with that woman again. They kind of feel like they're from different social circles, though. Since starting my part-time job here, I see them pretty much every week. I'm jealous of how close they are. I ain't really got any good friends here yet. Right, friends. I feel like croquettes tonight. Like croquettes tonight. I feel like croquettes tonight, like croquettes tonight, huh? Kissing, oh, it's the woman next door. Wait, uh, this is what they call peeking, ain't it? Oh yeah, she's, I guess she has an Osaka accent or something. She's, they gave her a country accent in the translation, but just a little. I guess she's a lesbian, huh? This is my first time seeing one. 
This is what you'd call spring fever, right? I can't go home. It's sweltering. Guess the cicadas are perky in the city too, huh? So she comes here during the day too. Come to think of it, I ain't seen her girlfriend around lately. I wonder if they had a fight. Not that it's got anything to do with me. I mean, I shouldn't be prying into customers' private lives. Um, yes. Do you have any Yukimi Mochi, the ice cream? Huh? Oh, those are only available season seasonally. From October to around May, I guess. Huh? So that's why. Yeah. I hadn't really looked before either, so I asked someone, thinking that might be the case, but they might still have some left at the supermarket. Ah, sorry, you don't didn't re really need to. Ah, no, that was a big help. So they were only seasonal, huh? Do you want me to bring you some later, huh? No, it's just I also like Yukimi Mochi, so I bought a box. Huh? No, I couldn't possibly. It's fine, it's fine. Part, part of being a good neighbor. Would 8 o'clock work for you, huh? Uh, yeah. Bye. I just totally got her number. Yes, Yukimi Mochi. Yes. Good morning. Morning. Ah, a new one's just come out. Limited edition chocolate tangerine. And our convenience store gets to sell early, too. I'll email Murata-san to tell her. Wait a sec. What if I just take them over and surprise her? Whoa, are these new? We were selling them early. Kind of like that. That woman. Haven't seen her in a while. Oh no, she's crying. Damn. Actually, I just noticed this, but something powerful about Takemiya Jin-sensei's stuff is that sometimes she just draws these scenes without any, like, extra words or anything. It's just, it's just, she's crying, you know? Oh, poor girl. All she can think about is her neighbor crying. Stand up. Ding dong. Clack. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Looks like I'm not the one she wanted to see. Well, obviously. Um, these are some new items we started selling today. Yukimi mochi, I mean. Ah, I thought you might want to give them a try. Anyway, what, wait, do, do you want to split them? Huh? To be continued. Hi, Ryoko, how are you? I'm reading, um, one of my favorite authors. You're fine. I'm reading one of my favorite authors. It's Takemiya, oh. Well, I didn't expect that to be in the credits. It's Takemiya Jin-sensei. I love her a lot. She's got some really good shit, but it's also angsty. It's not always happy. These are nice. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really notice the taste. Aw, thanks, Ryoko. Yamaguchi-san, can you take the register? Wait, just what are you sticking in the fridge there? Huh? I'm... Oh, insecticide. You okay? Are you feeling alright? Well, I'm doing perfectly fine, but... Okay, but... Someone I know is going through a tough breakup, and I want to help them cheer up, so I've been wondering what I can do. Hmm. So, like... Is this your crush we're talking about here or something? Huh? Eh? Wait, 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 wait. It's not like that. Huh? It's not? There's no way, right? Um... I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You win, you win. <laughs> She's... <ch> <laughs> um, can I check out now? Yeah, huh? Yeah, all right, I'm taking off. Okay, good job today. To think, I think I feel even more tired than usual today. I don't think she heard what we were saying, but... Ah, Yamaguchi-san. Are you going home now? Trot, trot, trot. Good evening. Ah, yeah, it's already eight, so why... Are you going out? Ah, uh, no, just to the grocery store to get some ponzu. Oh, then let me join you for groceries. Do you cook for yourself, Yamaguchi-san? Nah, it's just that side dishes are cheaper at this time. Do you always just buy side dishes? Uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Do you want to come over and eat at my place? I'm doing nabe today. Huh? Can I really? <laughs> oh my god, look, she's enticing her with food, drooling. Gluttonous girl. Gluttonous girls are cute. Bubble bubble, it looks so good. Go and eat up. Have some meat too, okay? Thank you for this. Um, 
Mmm, nom nom nom, so good. I guess you like it. <laughs> Eat all you want, okay? Here, rice. Ah, she's smiling. So good food feels, fills up your heart, too, huh? What's wrong? I was just thinking that this is twice as tasty as eating alone. Oh, crap. Did I hit a landmine? Ah, you're right. It does taste better when you're with someone else. Aww. That's so cute. The moment I saw that expression, I felt my heart squeeze. Oh, I know. If you don't mind, then why don't we eat together sometimes? I mean, side dishes are tasty and all. Huh? Can we really? <laughs> cooking for two is just as easy as cooking for one. It's fine. I'm in love with her. And if you didn't mind, I'd be with you all the time. I would totally love that. Just tell me how much the groceries are, okay? I'm home. Welcome back. <laughs> ta da -ima. Okay, -dee. So today's curry, huh? It's bubbling away. <laughs> Since that day, forget sometimes. I'm pretty much here four times a week. I'll set the table then. Okay. And somehow I'm paying less for food, which is a lifesaver. Cooking is awesome. It's not too spicy. Nope. Aw, she's so cute. Eating with the girl I love makes the food taste much better, and the time we spend together is incredibly precious to me, which is why I'm quietly swallowing those feelings. I'm in love with you. Gulp. I know that Murata san had a girlfriend up until two months ago, but she doesn't know that I know. Maybe we can only get along like this because she doesn't think I know. A girlfriend, huh? Wouldn't really be different from being with a guy, right? You would still be kissing and touching and... Oops. <laughs> got horny. That fantasy got real vivid real quick. Arg, I just want to confess already. Arg, I just want to confess already. It's only been two months, though, and, like, she doesn't even know. It's tough not knowing when to confess to someone who's become single. Not like I've ever confessed to anyone in the first place. You've always got a bento, huh, Murata san Oh, but these are just leftovers. No, that's still great. I mean, I really hate standing around the kitchen. I want a wife. Ah, ha, ha. I was the same way. Was? What, did you get a chance to meet someone? No way, are you going to start bragging, huh? No, 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 I've got nothing to brag about. I just sometimes make food for the girl next door. Huh, a girl? Boring. Well, that ended quickly. Eh, jeez, are there any guys at all in your life, Murata-san? Should we go drinking? You're that age, you know. Oh, but eating yaku niku with girls is nice. Yeah, you don't have to hold back or avoid garlic. <laughs> right. You say it's a girl and this is the reaction you get, huh? Huh? Twinge. Now it's spring. Are you free tomorrow evening? Yeah, then do you want to go flower viewing together? <gasps> Gasp. I'll make bentos. Yeah, I do. Hehe, <laughs> then let's do it. This is just the right time to see him, huh? Yeah, you're right. Here, to wipe your hands. That was delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Hehe. <laughs> Next year, it might be nice to do this during the day. Mizuki Chun. Yes? I'm moving next month, huh? To where? Eh? Ah, uh, I haven't decided yet. I just, you know, wanted to live closer to work. I've already told the building manager. Water. Take half of the asazuke. It does taste better when you're with someone else. Ding dong. Mizuki-chan? Mizuki-chan? I brought some yukimi mochi, eh? Let's eat them together. What's your favorite character dynamic for Yuri? I love them all. How can you make me choose, Ry Ryoko? I love all of them. They're all so good. I mean, delinquents are good, but like, so are glasses girls, and so is like, I like this dynamic too. Okay. I mean, like the stuff I was reading previously with Alice and Saki, that was also really good. I'll take one then. Go ahead. You know, I pretty much like any kind of ice cream, huh? But lately, I've just been buying things like Yukimi Mochi, Pico, and Papino. Do you know why? Because they're easy to share? Correct. My family's poor, so I'd always have to split things with my big brother. But if I let my guard down, he'd eat mine. It really pissed me off. He'd say he had to or else it would melt. So when I left home, I decided I'd just get the kind of things you can share and eat them myself. 
but I ended up buying a lot of stuff like Yukimi Mochi. Oh, um, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's not that I don't like sharing. Once we started eating together, Erika-san, then it was like splitting things ain't so bad, you know? Mizuki-chan. Um. Could we keep on splitting things together? Huh? Please don't move. I love you, Erika-san. Uh, in a romantic kind of way. I'm sorry. I've already contacted the building managers and the insurance company, so I think I really will move next month, but would you still split things with me even if I'm not next door? Erika-san, should I put this box in the inner room? Oh my god! <laughs> but would you still split things with me even if I'm not next door? <gasps> Gasp! She said yes! <laughs> And yes, I did take a drink, Ryoko. Thank you for the redeem. Erika-san, should I put this box in the inner room? Ah, yes, please. Okay. After that, we went together to the realtor to look at places. Let's just try to get the kitchen utensils and sleeping area set up today. We found a room that was bigger and sunnier than the last place. I forgot to buy a new futon, and I got rid of the last one. We've got mine, so we're fine, right? grin and moved in together <laughs> look at these girls flirting yes oh that's right what do you want to eat tonight she's ignoring the futon well it's gotta be soba soba noodles are uh, but the word also mean beside or close by you may not be the woman next door anymore but i still want to be next to you from now on oh that's so cute by the way, why do you decide to move so suddenly, huh? Well, how should I say this? I liked being with you, and I didn't want to leave you, but I thought you were straight, Mizuki-chan, so I wanted to pull away before I got too into you. Gasp. I'm glad I confessed. Sometimes there's no time to wait for the right moment. It takes guts to confess to a straight girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I may just be preaching to the peanut gallery, but some really good advice that I got once was um, try not to fall in love with straight girls. <laughs> because unfortunately it doesn't it's always work out the way it does in um, manga. This is chocolate orange. Oh, like the candies. Give me a sec so I can, er, preparing to read this. To first time readers and regulars, hello, I'm Junk Labs talking me a gin. Oh, hi, Nakube. Thanks for the redeem. Is this entire thing not a bedtime story or a lullaby? I mean, I'm literally reading manga right now. Is this not a bedtime story or a lullaby? Thank you for picking up my new work from Winter Comic Hat, Chocolate Orange. I feel like a long time ago I put out a book with the same title, but please ignore that, lol. <laughs> this time I wanted to use this title no matter what, so I used it knowing it would overlap. Uh, Cho Cho Na Nan also uses the same title as a derivative work I did, so I guess I just use my favorite words or like, or like old feelings or sentiments and I just use them for titles and names and things. Well, when I use them I'm thinking it has to be this, so there's no way I can change them, so I'm really sorry if it's confusing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <clears throat> um, so the reason that this work is called Chocolate Orange is something you'll have to figure out while reading. For clever people, it might just come with a ping. It's a bad joke. All right, please enjoy Chocolate Orange. All right. Okay, fine, Nakube. You want a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there is a very uh, bratty child who wouldn't go to sleep and kept demanding bedtime stories, even though I'm literally already reading manga out loud for you. Uh, the end. Once upon a time, there was a very ugly barnacle. The barnacle was so ugly that it died. The end. <laughs> Sorry. 
I love that SpongeBob joke. It's so dumb and stupid. This is gonna be our newest product soon. Give it a taste, huh? Let's stop meeting like this, salty mommy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Willow Womps. Um, I guess it's because of that, huh? Maki was my best friend when we were students. After graduating high school, we would still meet often. Or rather, I would just make up reasons so that I could go and see her. I was in love with her. I thought, I myself thought I was just fine with just being friends. I did want to touch her, but I could endure that. <laughs> wow. Okay. But that day, I'm getting married next year. Oh, congrats. I'm getting out of all of our liquor today. Oh, I'm getting out all our liquor today. Seriously? Thanks. What did you say it start out? Is it ass? Nekupe. I didn't know she had that sort of partner. No, I'd just been avoiding that co sort of conversation and then... What? Are you drunk, Chio? I'm not drunk. I borrowed the power of alcohol. I've always loved you. Just once is fine, so let me touch you. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess it implies they slept together. The next day, she acted as if nothing happened. So I conveniently assumed that she would just forgive and forget, but there's no way things would work out like that. I was ready for it, so there wasn't that much damage, less than I thought. I wonder what I should do this afternoon. I mean, I took the whole day off. Now all that I have left is this skill as a patissier I honed for Maki. Wobble wobble, huh? Collapse. Are you okay? That's a puddle. Mm, huh? Oh, you're awake. What was I? Where? Where am I? This is a park bench. You suddenly collapse at the knees in the middle of the path. Are you anemic? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I collapse sometimes because of anemia, so I start feeling bad if I crouch down. Ah, uh, right. It would be bad if you hit your head. Hmm? A band-aid? Ah, uh, you skinned your knee, so I stuck that on. I tried brushing off your coat, too, but the mud wouldn't come off. Sorry. She's so nice. An adult woman. Oh, right. Since you're anemic, you want some chocolate? Huh? Are you sure? Of course. Wow, so cool. It might taste a bit strange, but don't let that bother you. Thank you so much. I'll take one. Bang. Huh? It's delicious. Ish delicious. I felt like it felt like a waste to swallow it, but it was melting. Ish delicious. Huh? Enough to make you cry. Don't worry about that. There's a whole bunch, so just eat them normally. A whole bunch, are you sure? I'll give you the whole box. Delicious, delicious. The sweets might not love me back, huh? <laughs> the sweets might not love me back. There's this cake store I've loved forever, and it's always been my dream to work there, but that store is almost never looking for new staff. This year, for the first time in years, they're hiring and I was able to get an interview. I've been so nervous since yesterday that I wasn't able to sleep or eat breakfast. So I left early, but I wasn't feeling good and ended up collapsing. And now that this is all muddy, I've got no choice but to give up on the interview, right? Even though I thought it was a little bit closer to achieving my dream. Right, then Big Sis here is going to give you a hand, huh? To tell you the truth, I'm a patissier. That's why I can't act like this has nothing to do with me. I'm the one who made those. What? This? This? Are you a goddess? You made something so delicious? Enough with the flattery. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> Sweets really are the best. They always cheer you up. Okay, I'll keep trying for the next time. Let's trade coats, huh? Tr -tr -tr trade coats? I can't borrow such an expensive looking coat. Mine was $39.80. Yen by mail order. That was forty dollars by mail order. It's fine, it's fine. You chewed me up too, so I'm paying you back, huh? Well, I just remembered I got something to do at work. Oh, good luck with the interview. So cool. Up until now I've been using my skills only for Maki, but now I feel like I can work hard to bring smiles to a whole bunch of people. 
It's the first time I've seen someone you could eat while crying. <laughs> Kate pops him back. Oh, welcome back. Oh, wait, what's with that dirty coat? I'm taking it to the cleaners later. Sorry, sorry. And wait, I thought you were taking the day off, Chiyoko. Ah, uh, yeah. I ended up changing my mind, though. Would it be all right if I sat in on the interview today? Well, I don't mind. Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Sasaki Mikan. I'm here for my interview. Welcome. It's the same. <laughs> Do you think you could come in next week? Please write down your goals, uniform size, etc. on the sheet. Yes, ma'am. Wait, what happened to the interview? She'd already used their first meeting as the interview. <laughs> Lamau. There's less than five hours until my deadline, so since I just finished everything except the toning, I'm writing it afterward. After I write this, I plan on applying tone right until the last minute. <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. It's been too long since I last wrote and afterward, and I was a little lost about what to write, so I think I want to introduce the characters. Chio. Oh, Inui Chiyoko. 100% gay patissier. <laughs> 100% gay patissier. Is that how you pronounce it? Until recently was training in Osaka. Also recently got her heart broken. Sasaki Mikan, a high school girl who loves sweets. So far, probably straight. Outrageous breath. Oh, yeah. There's so many. <laughs> all the all the Yuri writers love boobs. <laughs> Nishimura Maki, Chiyoko's ex-best friend. Plans on getting married next spring. Inoue Koichi, uh, Chiyoko's dad from Osaka and still uses the dialect. Indulges his daughter. Le Bonheur. Name of the store, Boer, is French for happiness. Ooh, that's cool. I plan on drawing a continuation, so please be ready for Mikan-chan's chance to shine. Aww. 100% gay patissier. <laughs> Such a great... Okay, this is one of my favorite... Se this is one of my favorite short stories. It's two... Two chapters. Um, one of... This is, like, one of my favorite... Takemiya Jin of Jin Takemiya Jin's works and it's also very good. It's called Looking at You Kinda Turns Me On. Hey, so like, huh? Looking at You Kinda Turns Me On. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, what I'm ta what am I talking about? What do you think? Answering a question with a question. Uh are you like sexually frustrated or something like that? Come on, you haven't had a boyfriend lately, right? Though the same goes for me, or rather, I've never had one turned on. Well, it's true that I've been single for almost a year, I guess. I see. See? It's gotta be that, right? Huh? Maybe we should keep our distance. Eh? Why do we have to do that? Ah, uh, I'm saying she grabs me by the collar. <laughs> that this makes me want to kiss ya and stuff! Exclamation mark. Ah, damn it. It's not like I was actually gonna do it. I mean, you wouldn't like that, right, Natsuki? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry for doing something weird. That... That surprised me. We were so, so, so close. Nobody told me. No, I guess even without being told, I sort of knew, but... Looking at you kind of turns me on. If you just say that out of nowhere, how am I supposed to understand what you mean? Since I've never even felt turned on. Wave. Turn. Eh? Ah, uh, that's right. She did say that we should keep our distance. Though, wait a sec. How long do we have to keep our distance? I didn't hear a time limit. What should I do if it was forever? And anyway, why me? Being turned on means like that, right? But Machiko's had boyfriends before. Eh? Am I maybe like a guy? Ah, some of my relative's kids did call me Oni-chan. She's sh- Whoa, she's shaking. She's so easy to read. <laughs> Dorks. Her thoughts are always written on her face. Well, that part of her is cute too, though. It's useless. What was I thinking? Doing something to her? To have her make a face like that? And so, like now, you probably can't go back to being friends like before. Good Good morning. Morning. It was pretty cold this morning, huh? Ah, I think I might have caught the flu. It's been a week now. Is it still not long enough? Looking at you kind of gets me bothered. Mm, hot and bothered. I got into this school through external exams. The girls in the class had almost all got in through internal matriculation, and I was too shy to approach them on my own. You came in externally, right? I'm Machiko Yamanaka. It's nice to meet you. Ah, I'm Natsuki Tatake. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah ha ha, it's fine to speak casually. 
Ever since then, Machiko's been nice to me. Well, Machiko's nice to everyone, but... Do you have a fever or something? Oh. Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Guess I can't skip, huh? Again, lately something's been bothering me. Somehow, Machiko! For some reason, I can't sit still. Come here a sec. Pull. I wonder what this feeling could be. Hey, Natsuki, what are... That's what I want to say. You go on about getting turned on in distance and I've got no idea what you mean. You just tell me that all of a sudden and then avoid me for a week. I don't know what to do and it's really got me bothered. Ah, uh, I see. For Natsuki, this all came without warning, didn't it? And on top of that, I've been avoiding her, huh? And this is the result. In truth, I knew even then. Well, shall we stop being friends then? That we couldn't go back to how things were before and that my love would not be returned. That way, you won't have to be bothered about me anymore. I'm sorry for running away. Oh, that way you won't have to be bothered about me anymore. Huh? She's crying. No. No. She's crying. No. 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 Save her. Anta to oh anta miteri to miramura sundakido sundakido miramura sundakido. It literally just means looking at you kind of makes me turned on. Looking at you kind of turns me on. Was this summary of part one? Is this a real summary? I wonder if this was actually included in the work or if the translators put this in. For convenience. Machiko came out to her best friend Natsuki with looking at you kind of turns me on. Seeing Natsuki's bewildered expression at the sudden announcement, she proposed they put some distance between them. Not wanting to be hated by Natsuki, Machiko somehow ended up avoiding her. Natsuki felt lonely at being avoided, but now something new was bothering her too. So one day Natsuki threw these feelings at Machiko, but... No. What? Drip, drip. <laughs> so like, what do I do here? I guess for now I can only wait for her to stop crying, huh? There, there. Are you okay? Yeah. You only think about yourself, Machiko. Even though this has everything to do with me, you think you can just decide everything on your own, don't you? Ah, uh, I was only thinking about myself. It kind of feels like a hit and run, you know? Sorry. Sorry is not good enough, huh? Wait, Machiko, my heart is all in tatters because of you, you know? She's... Seriously angry? Take responsibility. Responsibility? <laughs> what kind of anger is this? Um, what about Pai from Rapopu? Huh? So much. flirty look I'm You might lose your Is that better? Hello? Can you hear me now? Is it cutting out anymore? 
Hello? Is it, is it working? It's good now. Okay. Yay. All right. That means I need to reset my face rig though. Give me one sec. Whoops. Not that. Um. Uh, just give me one second. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Don't do that. Uh, this. Boop. 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 There we are. Hide interface. And then we turn it back on. There we go. Oh, hi, Saeko. I'm reading Yuri Manga. This one's called Looking at You Kind of Turns Me On. Isn't that jealousy? Huh? Jealousy? Blush. Gulp. Stop making that face, huh? Is this jealousy? Don't fidget. This is making me want to kiss her. Gasp. I'm just joking. She remembers. She thinks she made her feel bad and she remembers that. She's like, no, it's not. Don't do it. Don't get the wrong idea. There's no way this is jealousy. It's just you worrying that you might lose your best friend, right, Natsuki? I take back what I said about stopping being friends. It isn't like that. Let's keep being friends, okay? That's right. This is fine. I'm sorry for all that. I think my being turned on was also my imagination. I, if I could hold myself back, then things will go back to normal, right? Also, thanks for the redeemed ship. It's not the end, but it's interesting that she's... <laughs> friends, looking at you kind of gets me bothered, too. Something is still bothering me. What is it? Ada, Ada, Ryoko, thank you for the redeem. Ada, Ada. Mm. Machiko said that we wouldn't stop being friends, but something, something's wrong, huh? She's not letting go? What's this? So, you know, huh? You and I are friends, right, Machiko? Yeah. So, like, when you get a boyfriend, I guess I'll end up coming second, right? Everybody says that boyfriends come first. I don't want to be second. Mira, she's getting turned on. I don't want to be second. What is she saying? I don't get it. Therefore, I'm going to kiss you now. Huh? Kiss? Wait, where'd that come from? What do you mean, therefore? I don't get it either. That's why I need you to let me find out. Huh? Eh? Um, eh? Sorry, Machiko. Clench. Mm. Mm. Wow. This, what, Machiko, can we do that again? Slide, slide. This is dangerous, huh? Can we do that again? Mm -mm. What, what, I want to stick it in. No way, huh? My mind's going blank. Machiko's tongue feels good. What is this? I can't stop. Nuts key. <gasps> Gasp. Mm -mm. We're at school, bunk. Just where are you touching me? Whack. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I let myself get caught up in the moment. Well, it's fine, but think about where you are. Weren't you against doing that sort of thing? You had this troubled expression, right? It's not that I was troubled. Huh? It's just my mind couldn't keep up with what was happening, so it just kind of went blank. It's not like I dislike you or anything. Huh? Was that all? Really? Yep. I was just kind of surprised. But now I am troubled, maybe, huh? Looking at you kind of turns me on, Machiko. Ah, uh, sorry. It seems being turned on is contagious. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these gay dorks. Seems being turned on is contagious. It seems being turned on is contagious. Mm -hmm. Later. Like I said, you're getting too close to her, aren't you? I'll have to punish her later. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. She also continues to feel bothered. Mo ya, mo ya. My, my body is ready. You don't actually say that. All in all, things are going well. <laughs> About to do lewd things. My, my body is ready. You don't actually say that. This dialogue is a little alien. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it might be a bit of a... Strange translation. 
It's cute though, and the point is that they get turned on and kiss. Lol. That might have been a TL funny. What's a TL funny? Oh, translator funny. Yeah, that's true. All right, so here's um, one of the angsty ones. This one's very angsty comparatively, I guess. Doesn't have a happy ending. Anyway, here you go. It's called A Song About Missing You. Ah, so tired. On a day like this, I just want to hop in the bath, grab a drink, and sleep. A Song About Missing You. Huh? Huh? Ding dong. I wasn't expecting anyone today, right? Well, whatever. I'm not even wearing a bra. I'll just pretend I'm not home. Ding dong, 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 ding dong. Just shut up! Seriously, who could it be at this hour? If it's a pervert, I can just dial 110. Ah. Sarasa? Sorry for just dropping by like this. No, it's fine. Long time no see. Long time no see. It's mood. Want a drink? Oh, don't worry about me. Sarasa is my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, that's pretty much... I don't know. I mean, that is pretty much how it is. <laughs> Super Ultimax, lewd, times a thousand, or almost non-existent and awkward. Yeah. Three years ago, around this time, I'm in love with someone else, so I want to break up. She dumped me like that. So who was it? Was I just not right for you, even though I... Even though I... What? Oh, even though I asked... She never did give me an answer, huh? So how are things, Asuka, huh? I'm asking if you have a girlfriend. Jeez. How can you say something like that while smiling? Look, what if I said that I'm still not over you? Huh? That That's a problem. Ida. She's angry. Well, then what are you doing here? It's not to get back together? I I was wondering what you've been up to. What I've been up to? Well, normally I just go to work, come home, sleep, go to work, come home, sleep. Just that over and over, ever since we broke up. Hey, Sarasa. Huh? Can't we give it another try? I I told you I fell in love with... You're lying, right? Twitch, twitch. You know your right eyebrow moves when you lie, Sarasa. It's really obvious. See? So it's fine, right? <laughs> So cute. It's not fine. I can't even be here anymore. It's fine. I can just go with you. What are you saying? Then why did you come to see me? You know, these past three years, didn't you come because you just had to see me? I just couldn't stop wanting to see you. What about you, Sarasa? I... Yeah, but... But even so, we still can't be together. I'm sorry. It's fine. See you later. And she disappears like a ghost. Quite literally in this last panel here. And now she's crying. Oh no. Oh no. Crying. On that day three years ago, I knew right away Sarasa was lying. No matter how much I asked, she never told me anything. One year after we broke up, I heard about her illness from my friend. I was told to keep quiet, but I more or less understood why Sarasa had lied to me, and so up until the end, I didn't go and see her either. And yet, on the day of the funeral, you end up appearing like this. Stupid Sarasa, come and see me again whenever you want. No! No, I know, it's so sad. The feels... The feels, chat. The feels. No. Dead GF feels. Oof. Oof. This is a uh, chocolate orange too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going because I want to get that sad out of my mind. It's so sad. <laughs> the feels. Tagimiya Sensei is really good with some of that shit. Like she hits you really hard with the sad. It's so good.
It's so good, but so sad. Anyway, this is Chocolate Orange 2, a continuation of the Chocolate Orange one from earlier. I want some new adult-oriented merchandise. Can you make a chocolate with orange peels? Um, well, I can make that, but... Okay, well, if you can do that, I'll leave making the samples to you. All right. Thanks for the redeem, Shep. I did take a drink of water. Phew. Gross, huh? I mean, like, why are you using orange peels? Chocolate and orange peels don't even go together, right? I guess? Like, when you're under the Katatsu eating mandarins, do you eat the peels? No way, right? Japanese people just aren't into this kind of combination. Wow. Sorry. So why not do something different for a new product, okay? Um, it's Mommy Made ASMR. Glug, glug, glug. I haven't really tried making any since then. I guess being told it was gross hit me harder than I thought. Is something wrong? Cheer up, Mikan-chan. Japanese people are into chocolate with orange peels? What is that person even talking about? Isn't it delicious? You like chocolate and orange peels? Yes, I love it. Might be different from the sort of food we grew up with, but it's not like all Japanese people like Japanese candy either. In the first place, I'm Japanese and I want to eat your orange peel chocolates, Chiyo-san. Why are you paying attention to that person's opinion? Ugh. <laughs> Look at her pouty face. So cute. I guess I'll try making some then. Looking forward to it. Well, I'm taking off. Alright, take care. Why are you paying attention to that person's opinion? I thought I was fine now. Maybe I'm still hung up on her. I'm feeling kind of down. Chiyo-san is the patissier I look up to. I mean, I say look up to, but it's not like I'm aiming to be a patissier. It's the way she approaches her work, her skill as a patissier, her per nice personality, her popularity, her beauty. All those things put together, that's why I'm irritated. I wonder what kind of person is able to get under her skin. Irritated? I think this tastes fine, but gross. Fine is not good enough. It needs to be delicious. If that girl were to tell me it tastes gross, it's gross. <gasps> huh? Wait. Gasp. The reason I'm nervous is good morning. Because I don't want to hear Mikan say that something tastes gross. Morning. Ah, did you finish the new product? Yay, let me have a taste. Whoosh. shio the this is still no good, huh? Wait until I've made some proper samples. What does she mean by proper samples? Did you finish the new product? No way. Arg, she was sparkling. These dorks just like food. I know she's just purely saying she loves the sweets I make. I know that. And so I also want to answer her purely with those sweets. Those are orange jets, right? Go ahead. Thank you. Mmm, it's delicious. These are great. The balance between the orange confit and the chocolate is amazing. All right, good. Looks like she enjoyed them, but isn't this going to cause problems with that other person? They can't handle orange peels, right? Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, that's not an issue anymore. Don't worry about it. It's not an issue anymore? Okay. <laughs> then I guess we have nothing to worry about. Cune. Uh, yeah, nothing at all. Yes. Please keep letting me taste the things you make, okay? Er, yes, of course. Chio, 26, remained worried that she would be unable to suppress her wicked desires. <laughs> Talking me a sensei, what are you writing? Oh my goodness. Talking me a jin, thank you very much for reading Love Stories Log. This book's collects Dojinshi works that were published between May 2014 and August 2015. Editor's editor selection and Talking Mia's recommendations. They're so good. Even your doujins are yuri, huh? Because I like it. When it comes to reading, I'll read any genre, but at present, I have no plans of drawing any non-Yuri doujinshi. <laughs> they let me publish this without any corrections to any of the works. The poor quality is another part of my history. Oh, poor sensei. <laughs> Next year will be 10 years, including a break partway through since I started working on doujinshi. Leaving, leaving aside the BL I did when I was a student. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
The fact that I've been able to continue this long is, of course, thanks to my love of Yuri, but also thanks to the readers who read my work. Why do girls just damn pretty? Yes. If you've never participated in a Dijinshi event, you should try it sometime at an event in your area. No. <laughs> to all my readers, all of my regular customers at events, all my otaku friends, and everybody involved in putting together this book, I want to express my gratitude to all of you. Thank you very much. Grateful. And then this is the bonuses page. There's some cute bonuses. Oh, this is a blank. That's Sarasa and uh, I don't remember her name, but this is the dead girlfriend one. It's so sad. Crying. All right, here's a bonus for the... <laughs> this is a bonus <laughs> for looking at you kind of turns me on. If you see each other naked at an onsen or spa, do you think your heart would race? Just because I'm with the girl I like, it doesn't mean I'll be turned on all the time, you know? I don't go around panting in public. Yeah, exactly. Well, then what if it was a reserved onsen? Well, that would change things then. Particularly for Natsuki. Yeah. Don't get the water dirty. <laughs> Do you like how these panels are literally just redraws? Bit busy. Aw, uh, okay. Well, thank you for tuning in, Harry Apple. Hang in there. Who do you think should top? This is for the first one, the woman next door. Searched for, <laughs> she looked up lesbians. <laughs> she looked up how, how do lesbians have sex? <laughs> Since I'm more boyish, I guess I'm supposed to take the lead. What are you looking up there? You don't need to worry about that. Now I'm a switch, but I used to be a topping femme. That's why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. So you can leave it to me, okay? Wow, thank you for your consideration. <laughs> Lol. Damn. Damn. Damn, look at look at her, she's lucky. She's got an Ara Ara MILF. Does it work? Hello? Sorry? Whoa. I didn't realize there was static. Sorry. That's really weird. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Damn. I hope it's fixed now. That was really weird. That usually doesn't happen. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I just look over in the chat and it's and y'all are going big static and then I look at my mic audio levels and it's just maxed out all the way. That was really weird. Sorry. Okay, gotta fix face rig again. I wonder why I was doing that. That's really weird. Darn it, scuff streams all the way. Oof. Why so scuff? I'm sorry, Shep. I'm sorry.
The cyber police? Oh no, what are they going to do? Cyber me? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I hope you all liked the... Um, I mean, it couldn't have possibly been because I called... Because I called her an Ara Ara Milf girlfriend who tops you, right? It was what I was saying earlier. She's lucky because she's got an Ara Ara Milf girlfriend who tops you. <laughs> anyway. Let's see here. Um, I have been going for a while, but... Uh, yeah, so this that was um, Takemiya Jin Sensei. I really like her works. She's very good and so is Morishima Akiko. I also really like her works. Um, they both like to- oh, I see like a few blue drawings in these tiny little thumbnails. Um, yeah. Really like uh... It's interesting, a lot of these uh, Yuri authors really like big boobs <laughs> for some reason. But anyway, um, let's see here, uh, room four, two. Boobs are good. It's true. They are. All right. So, um, I read some, a uh, room for two. La I read the first chapter of a room for two last time. So, um, I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to keep reading a chapter. I'll read like a chapter and then we'll end the stream. But I just wanted to show off more A Room for Two. High school life. The first quiz of the year. She fell asleep 10 minutes into the quiz. She sure gave up quick. Do you think you'll do okay? You fell asleep. I'm glad that's over. Having a quiz so early in this year sucks. Yeah, I should scrape by. I'll be all right. Oh, pie. Mm -hmm. Getting the quiz back. I barely made the average. This is what I get for not studying at all. Eh, oh, well. How do you do, Sakurako? Hee <laughs> hee, look, I got full marks. Lucky me. What? How? Wow, you weren't kidding. You really are smart, huh, Sakurako? She's, yeah, she's first in the, she's top ranked in the class. Yeah, it is an adorable art style. She's, um, it's Yukiko Sensei. You can find Yukiko on Twitter. It's Yukiko Sensei. You can find her on Twitter, um. Aw, she's diligent and cute. Sakurako reminds you of you, Ryoko, because she's diligent and cute? I didn't know that, but I was the representative for new students at the entrance ceremony. Oh, I didn't know that. Don't tell me she slept through the entire ceremony. Spot on. <laughs> Kazumi-chan, do you want to join a club? Nope, I'm going to get a job instead. Prefer to work, huh? When did we get that printout? They handed it out this morning. It only lists the art, music, and track team clubs. Aren't there any other clubs I want to join in a cooking club? I love cooking. Those are the only clubs at this school. Most people can't be bothered. No way. What the heck? Uh, you're right. It's true. You are a big gay. You're all dorks. Mommy loves you all very much. What you reading, Kasumi-chan? It's a part-time jobs listing. Any good ones out there? Not really. They're handing them out in the hallway. Should they really be giving these out in the hallway? What kind of job would you like? Hmm. Something where I can just sit around and not talk to anyone would be nice. I'm pretty sure there aren't any jobs like that. You're way too lazy. When I was in junior high, I did a lot of different jobs to help my mom out with her work. Never would have guessed. She works at a community center. She does tons of different things. She runs various courses and events there. Knitting, aromatherapy, swimming, yoga, qi qigong. Okay, bye Ryoko. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. She made me help out when they were short on people. Like bringing out tea and stuff. Sometimes it's fun, but the worst part is when she runs a course on foot massages and I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Hey, stop. It doesn't bend like that. Wait, just how many people are there? Oh, no. Kasumi chan's a lot like a cat, don't you think? Yeah, totally. She seems like she'd run away if you don't didn't approach her carefully. Is she tsundere? Well, she does whatever she wants and she always sleeps. 
Yeah, that's true. I don't think she's like a cat, though. I think she's more like a sloth. <laughs> she wouldn't... I don't want to move. <laughs> she wouldn't deny it. Lamau. Sakurako-chan is like a dog. Nobody has ever said that about me before. Sakurako. <laughs> Sakurako. What is it, Kazumi-chan? Need something? Huh? Huh? Wag wag. Why are you petting me? Ah, uh, I can see the doggy ears and tail. Good girl. <laughs> she is like an actual dog. Wag wag. Lol. Would you be interested in becoming a model? A model? That's awesome. Are you going to do it? No, I'm not. Sounds like a pain. Oh, but the person who scared me referred me to a life drawing model job. I get to sit around and not talk to anyone. <laughs> you look really excited. Snore, she dozed off while modeling and got fired as a result. Yo, someone should say something. Ugh, she's got the body but not the brains. This is the first time I've seen a girl sleep with her mouth open. Here's your pay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Their nameplates arrived. Check it out, Kazumi-chan. What? Having nameplates makes it really feel like it's our home now, doesn't it? This is the first time I've realized that we haven't had nameplates since moving in. Yeah, you're right. I wonder who put them up. Man, sorry for taking my sweet time on the nameplates. Who are you? I'm the landlady. 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 Name's Hyuga Natsuki. I'm the landlady and manager of these apartments. I live on the first floor, so come and talk to me if you ever need anything. You can call me Natsuki. Nice to meet you. Wow, you look really young for a landlady. Yeah, I'm only 19. I just graduated high school. My dad used to be the landlord. Huh? I didn't bother going to college or applying for jobs, so dad made me work here. I figured this would be an okay job, though I get to sit around and not talk to anyone. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, this feels like deja vu. Isn't it tough going all the way to the floor, the floor every day? Nah, it's no problem. Yes, it is. I used to be a total shut-in after all. Sure is nice to be young. Going up and down the stairs is way too hard for me, so I asked my dad to put in an elevator. What the hell? You live on the first floor. He got pretty mad at me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know why that really got me. I asked my dad to put in an elevator. What the hell? You live on the first floor? <laughs> this girl's hopeless. I wish they'd have put in an elevator. Lamau. Oh, it's spinach. Spanch. Are there any foods you dislike, Kasumi-chan? Oh, this is cheap. It'll make a good dish. There aren't any meals that I dislike, but there are some raw foods that I hate. Like what? Lotus roots, enoki mushrooms, salmon roe, oranges, strawberries, sesame seeds. There's loads of others. They're all over the shop. What about them don't you like? I can't stand how they're round and lumpy and clumped together. It gives me goosebumps. Seriously, that's what you don't like? I only find it gross to look at, so I'm okay with anything. <laughs> when it's in a dish, that's called tripophobia, isn't it? Lumpy things gross me out. The fear of things with holes and lumps. Do you have anything you dislike, Sakuroko? Food that I dislike, huh? Oh, there's just one thing. Mint chocolate ice cream. It just tastes like toothpaste to me. I'd rather eat toothpaste than this. I see. Oh? Oh, Shep, you want me to do the DK rap? All right, take it to the bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah, walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah. So they're finally here, performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together if you wanna rap as we t or if you wanna clap as we take you through this monkey rap. <laughs> uh. 
It has been zero days since Maid Spear has done a terrible rap. <laughs> I feel bad having you do all the cooking. It's fine. I'd love, to, I'd love to cook. I don't mind at all. Which would you prefer? Hamburger steak sauce or grated radish? The sauce. Besides, they never let me cook meals when I lived at home, and it's so fun. Really? That's good. Let me cook sometimes, though, okay? Yay, I'd love that. What's your best recipe, Kazumi-chan? Uh, Ochazuke? Does that count as cooking? A simple dish made from green tea poured over rice. That should definitely be a redeem at this point. Okay. Wait, which part? The wrapping or the DK wrap? Why is it a monkey wrap if most of them are gorillas? It's two gorillas and three chimpanzees, I believe. We're home. There's something hanging on a door. From the landlady, it's written on the card. I made too much pudding, so I thought I'd share. You two should eat it together, Natsuki. That's what it says. There's a container inside. Guess she can cook, huh? Let's eat up. Yay, it kind of tastes like stew. You think so, too? It really does taste like stew, doesn't it? What on earth? <laughs> it's stew pudding. Wait, Shep, what do you mean by that should be a redeem? Which part? Did he Kong as a monkey? Oh, okay. Wait, oh, there's a Bonobo too. Oh, it's an orangutan. Right, um, uh, Lanky is an orangutan. Did he Kong as a monkey? All right. Are you sure Diddy Kong isn't a chimp? I don't know. Is your hair naturally wavy, Kasumi-chan? Nope, I get it permed. Really? Isn't that a pain? I only have to get it permed every two or three months. It's great because I don't really need to take much care of it. More importantly, most people can't tell if your hair's messy from sleeping or not. You can't hide it when it's straight. I don't know how to feel about a teenage girl admitting that. When they have spare time in the morning, it's so soft and fluffy. At least one of them has a tail. Playing the pocky game with sweets. That's not exactly... Yeah. That looked like a guest artist. Oh, yeah, Sakurako. Wait, Sakurako had her hair... Yeah, Sakurako's hair is in, is in braids. Oh, the walnuts, peanuts, and ending at DK Donkey Kong? All right, well, we'll see. Yeah, sure, I can add that as a redeem. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, thank you for the suggestion, Shep. Oof, I'm all tuckered out, so I think I'm going to end the stream here. But um, I had a lot of fun, and I loved showing off my favorite artists. Morishima Akiko-sensei and Takemiya Jin-sensei are really good. I would highly encourage you to check out their works because they're very, very fun. Um, yeah, thank you all so much. I'm glad you all had fun because I had a whole lot of fun, too. All right, then, let's see here. Um, yeah, Takemiya Sensei, um, they're all so good. I love them so much. They're so, so gay. It's so silly. Okay, have fun, y'all. Um, yeah, thank you all so much. Aw, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Mommy loves you all. I hope you all have a good night. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.